Liam, the goalless draw today at Darlington. Overall, how do you reflect on that point? Uh, good point. Um, you know, could have gone either way, I suppose. There wasn't really loads of clear cut chances through the game. Joe Nash has probably had the best one, he was very late on. Uh, we had three sorts of calls for penalties, but I suppose. On the balance, I actually thought that Dion won. I thought he has pulled his shirt back and uh, Dion's gone down. But, you know, uh, it's a stop start game, especially with the two big injuries and one thing or another. So, uh, I suppose come away from home, keep a clean sheet. We played them twice, 2 0 nil classics. Um, few chances, as you say, in the whole game. A couple at the start and a, a few chances at the end. Do you think we should have made more of them, really? Uh, I think Jones had a good chance, Gillies had one when he, he, he's done the work himself, got him behind, good a squared uh, obviously being a goal scorer thinks he can, he's had a deflection, took it over, um, that's about it again, can't really call the keeper pulling off, Dion's put one great ball in late on where you know, Sam and Jordan are both throwing themselves at it to get a touch but can't really call Dan having much of a save. Uh, they lost a little bit of impetus when Muggleton went off with the injury because of the throw keeps you penned in and it, it is probably one of the longest throws I've seen so uh, but and to be fair we'll send his best wishes because it looks a really bad injury and hope he's okay. Yeah I'd say it was a tie game any kind of reasons why you think we kind of struggled to get him behind them or is it just one of those afternoons do you think? I think they, they were set up they were organised with you know three stroke five at the back and you know uh, Liam Hughes actually held them together in, in the fact that he's organised, he knows what he's doing and, um, and again the pitch is, isn't as much as it is, it's firm, it's an end of season pitch, it was dry and but just excuses, same for both teams, why it wasn't a classic, uh, at, least, at least when we played them at home we missed the penalty. <laughs> Bit, bit of a reshuffle at the back with no Regan today, Andy Parry came in defensively, are you pleased overall? I thought Andy Parry was as good as anyone for us on the pitch, uh, never got done, he was up against Thompson who, who, who can be dangerous, uh, Thompson caused Regan a few problems at our place in the first game so Andy's done great. Uh, and again, as I said defensively we, we look solid, uh, look solid, look big. Um, and then, so we've got another tough game in Stockport. If we can go there, set ourselves out, we can keep a clean sheet, great. Uh, no Regan today, we touched on that. Uh, any update on him? No, he's just got a bit of tightness, but you know he's 19 years of age and he's played every game virtually since he's been here, so it was always going to get a little bit. Um, I, but I said, I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah. He's used to having ped button kangaroos. So <laughs> <he's fine. laughs> <laughs> and just Stockport finally, you mentioned it, obviously it's a big game on Tuesday, they're second in the league. Going to be a big test but one you relish in I guess. Brilliant place, brilliant place to go. Uh, all the pressure on Stockport, the Santa Cats Chorley. Um, you know, real test, Jim Gannon obviously successful manager, he's proved it higher up, so he's got them fighting on two fronts, so you know, from my point of view, brilliant for our players to go and test themselves on, you know, team challenging for the league. Appreciate your time. No